Okay, another repair on another Samsung 40 inch LCD TV. Uh, this TV was bought about three years ago and it started clicking and it took maybe one to two minutes to start and it's just getting worse and it's the damn capacitors. It's always the capacitor problem. Uh, I'll show you the capacitors. They're right here. And if you notice very carefully, this one, these two right here, the top is bulging out a little bit. Let me see if I can get a better picture. Maybe this way. Let's see, maybe that way. You can see those two are not as flat as these. See? Not as flat. They bulge out a little bit. That's when you know it's defective and they need to be changed. I went to Radio Shack and I grabbed five of these. Alright? They're uh, a thousand UF and operating temperature 40 to 85 Celsius and that should do it. So the first thing I did obviously is take out the back panel. There are screws in each corner everywhere like this. Alright, you remove the screws first. The panel comes off. Here are the culprits. And then you remove the tiny little screws on each each hole right here. Tiny little screws. Uh, let me see if I can find them. There they go. They're that small. Take them off. Okay. And then you take out these plugs on each side. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Another one. Another one right here, which is this green one, is this one and then this one. It's very, very easy and self-explanatory. So you gotta remove those, and then you take off the panel. All right? So I'm not ready yet to actually change the capacitors yet, but when I do, I'll videotape that and you'll see the whole process. Again, these are the faulty capacitors. So you could see the heads of these two are bulging out. And these are relatively flat. That's the way they should be. But the best thing to do is change all five. Just change all five capacitors and you don't have to worry about this for a very long time. Alright, that's about it, so stay tuned for part two.